Hello, hello, welcome back to Card at Work. In this episode, we learn how to make a text background for your cards that goes up and down depending on the height of your text. So let's take a look at an example document that we've already got set up. This is already data merged with a spreadsheet that has text for the bottom of this card. Uh, if you select this text frame and we hit Command B, it'll bring up the text frame options where you can see that we've got the vertical justification set to bottom. This is different from say center, which would have it be centered vertically within that text frame or top, which would be more standard with text flowing down from top to bottom. In this case, because the text is at the bottom of the card, I've set it up so that it rises from the bottom so that we get as much empty space in the center of the card as possible for art. Now, in order to do that, uh, I still need to have some kind of opaque background behind this text so that even if there is art here, it's not going to interfere with the legibility of this text. To do that, I am placing a paper background here, which you can see has just appeared also in the layers palette here. You can see Zeppelin paper, that's the name of the file. You can still see it's uh, layered on top of the text layer here. So I'm just going to move that layer down so that it, it appears behind the text. All right, that is cool. Now with any object, whether it's a, a vector object or a bitmap uh, image that's been placed in document, you'll see this little filled in square here when you uh, drag your mouse over it, it says drag into text to anchor the object. What that means is a text anchor would be linked to this object. Um, so let's see what happens when I drag this square over here. You can start seeing that there is a text cursor that appears as I drag over into this text. Uh, it's looking for a place to drop a text anchor that would then link to this image. So let's say I drop that text anchor here right at the very beginning, the, the very uh, first line of this paragraph. The problem is when you do a text anchor for an image, the, the text background will be layered over any of the text. Now that's a problem because we need to see the text in the first place. So uh, once I have made a text anchor on this text frame, uh, I will copy it and then I will paste in place, which is done with the option shift command V shortcut. So now I have literally exactly the same uh, text frame layered on top of itself. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to remove the text background from the text frame that is on top. Uh, if you look at the data merge, both of these text frames have now been linked to the same variable. So they will have exactly the same text in exactly the same size text frame. The only difference is that the one on top has no anchored object. The one below it does. As new text gets inserted into this text frame, the background will still rise and fall, and no one will be the wiser that there's actually two text frames here in this exact same spot. Now, because of this method, you want to be sure that when you drop your text in, that is exactly where you want it to be in the final layout. But once you have it settled, it's a nice way to make a variable text background that rises and falls with your text. And there's some cool things you can do with this too. Let's see another example. Uh, here, if I'm toggling through each of the records, you can see that the names of the, these cards have different lengths. Uh, for example, Revolutionary here is quite long, whereas the next card, Saint, is quite short. But regardless of the length of that text, the text background has been anchored to right around this point, uh, this distance from the uh, end of that line, so that no matter how long that name is, it's always going to have a well-spaced and well-balanced text background behind it. And before we close up the lesson, I wanted to show you a quick little thing that you could do here. Uh, because the text background now is an object, that means it can also be a variable image. So if you wanted to have different backgrounds for your text, depending on whether it's a type of card or a suit or something, uh, you can actually make it different uh, images here. Uh, now, this also brings up one last thing I wanted to show you as a bit of troubleshooting. If you ever get a situation like this where your image does not actually move with your text the way you intend it to, check in your options panel here. So if you uh, look at that uh, text anchor icon here and you right click on it, you'll get 
a bunch of different options, but the thing that we want to focus on is anchored object and options here. Uh, and you want to make sure that your X is relative to the anchor marker and that your Y is relative to your baseline. Then you can see that uh, this text background has now shifted a little bit uh, with that new option. That's okay. But what we want to make sure of is that the image is moving with text. That's great. With that established, we can just start shifting over this object a little bit, uh, nudging it up outside of the edge of the card. Uh, then we can be sure that the edge that we do see is going to shift to the length of the text that we have. And all that's established now, so we're good. Hopefully you like this lesson. Hopefully you find this trick very useful. Uh, I find it very, very helpful whenever I'm working on some interesting complex card designs that have some cool art that I don't want to obscure or obstruct. Uh, and hopefully you'll find it useful too. Hello, hello again. A few bits of news. This is the start of season two of Card at Work. If this is your first episode of Card at Work, you can find the rest of the playlist linked over to the side over here. And if you want to see more and get more files and other goodies like icons and texture packs, go over to the Patreon linked over at the bottom here. Thank you for your support. Thank you, patrons, for contributing to the Patreon campaign. And just keep on watching for season two. You'll find some more good stuff. Thanks.